So you want your podcast to have some great show notes, but you don't even know where to begin to compose them. Well, you're in luck. In this episode of Podcastification, it's show notes, step one to making them epic. My name is Carrie Green, and I am the Client Happiness Guy at PodcastFastTrack.com, and this is Podcastification. This show is all about podcasting, how to do it, how not to do it, best practices, interesting news items that have to do with the realm of podcasting, and who knows what else. And I'm trying to do it all with a little bit of fun and some information to help you get a show going, keep yours going, or make it better. And if you like what's going on here on the show, I would appreciate it, oh, so appreciate it, if you could leave a rating or review on iTunes. You can find out how to do that at podcastfasttrack.com slash review. That's enough of that kind of stuff. Let's get you podcastificated right away. All right, let's get started talking about this show notes issue. You know, there is a twofold problem when it comes to writing truly epic show notes. Good show notes, first of all, have to be optimized, which takes a certain degree of expertise. I mean, as with any blog post or web page, optimization includes some or all of the following. Keyword research, and that's the most time-consuming part. There's formatting that makes the best use of the keywords and related phrases. There's the proper use and optimization of images. And there's formatting that's easy to scan so that readers can find exactly what they're looking for. But the second part of the problem is that all of that takes extra time, which most podcasters simply don't have. I mean, I know the headaches of being a part-time podcaster. I began doing my first podcast as part of a side hustle while I was working full-time at another job. The time suck is incredible. I also know the headache of having to do something like show notes when I'm in my business full-time. And there appear to be so many other pressing things to make it more profitable and effective. So if you want to do quality show notes, there's really only two solutions. First, you figure out a system that enables you to do the job in the least amount of time possible, or you outsource it. Well, this episode of Podcastification is all about the first of those two options. I want to equip you by sharing the system that my Podcast Fast Track team uses to write quality show notes. So here we go into the process. Number one, you're going to create a bullet point outline of the episode as you do the edits on your recording. I know there are a variety of approaches to recording a podcast. Some of you create a bullet point outline to begin with that serves as the talking points of your episode when you do your recording. And I've talked how to do that on a previous episode. You can find that at podcastfasttrack.com slash podcast script. If that's how you approach your podcast recording, Congratulations, you've already got this step done. But I want you to understand the reason that my podcast fast track team pulls out the bullet points outline first. And that's because it's the easiest and most effective thing to do while editing. I mean, your main topics are easy to hear and write down on fast speed editing without losing your place. Yes, we use fast play speed while we're editing. But secondly, it enables us to get a firm grasp of the entire episode's content the first time through, which will enable us to do our keyword research before we write the full show notes. And did you notice that I said we do all this while we're editing? That may sound like a crazy, multitasking kind of a thing. And in one sense, I guess it is. I mean, we search high and low to find people who are skilled at both audio production and writing so that we can optimize our process in this way. If you know someone like that, by the way, I would love to hear from them. You can have them contact me at carry at podcastfasttrack.com. But making this a high priority enables us to make the entire process faster without sacrificing quality. So let me give you some guidelines if you're going to take this approach, the approach of pulling out the bullet points while you're editing. First of all, it's going to require you to develop the skill of listening for audio that needs to be edited while you also listen for changes in topic. You can do it. It's really not all that hard. I mean, after two or three times, you'll have it down. And a tip to make it easier is this. On interview style shows, the questions the host asks usually indicate a topic that's worthy of its own bullet point. So key in on those questions as places to start another point. And then one other thing, 
The podcast fast track team also inserts timestamps on the bullet point outline. That means one additional thing we're doing as we listen, edit, and write is that we're watching the editing software closely and making a note of the timestamp when we create a bullet point. It sounds complex, but again, it's something you can train yourself to do and will not be that difficult after a few times of doing it. Now, real quickly, why do we include the timestamps? Well, it's part of what we provide to readers to make the post more scannable, more consumable. It's all about the end user in our minds, so we want to make the post as useful to them as possible. So that's step one, the bullet point outline. Once you have a good bullet point outline of the audio recording, you're ready to move on to the next step. And that's step number two, do keyword research based on your bullet point outline. And once you've listened to the audio all the way through and you've done your bullet points, you have a very good idea of the main topic of that episode. The first thing my team does is try to boil down that main topic into one punchy sentence. And we'll come up with three or four of those and we write them all down. In the end, those serve as our post title or some subheadings at times. But for now, they simply help us solidify the main topic in our minds so that we can take the topic as the starting point for our keyword research. So how do we do keyword research? Well, first, we just go to Google and we type in our main keyword or keyword phrase into Google search. Then we look at the related searches at the bottom of the resulting page. That gives us a great idea what people are actually searching for surrounding that topic. You can also use the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. It's designed to figure out good Google ad campaigns, but using the Find New Keywords tab, you can get a good idea of the popularity and phrasing of searches surrounding that topic. And there are some other free keyword research tools you can use. There's keywordtool.io. There's spyfu.com. That's S-P-Y-F-U.com. And there's ubersuggest.com. All of those are going to be in the show notes for this episode at podcastfasttrack.com slash show notes too. But in the end, if our team feels they've gotten a good grasp on the popular searches that are going on around the topic of our audio, only through Google search and the keyword tool, then we'll move on from there. Remember, we're trying to maximize efficiency and save time in our process. So what do we do with our keyword research results? Well, we open up our Google Doc, the one where we've already placed our bullet point outline. And at the top of the page, where we can easily see it, we type or paste in our list of keywords and keyword phrases that we've discovered. These will serve as reminders to us of what we're aiming at as we write our show notes. And that takes us to step three. Step three is start writing your show notes, a 500 word or more summary of the audio. Now, this step is pretty involved. A lot goes into it. So it's going to be the topic of our next episode of podcastification. So here's my call to action. What is your biggest takeaway from what I've shared so far? What are you going to do with that information as a result? I'd love for you to share your thoughts in the comments of this episode on the show notes page at podcastfasttrack.com slash show notes two. And by the way, you can share this episode using that fancy little app you have on your smartphone. There's got to be a way. I know on the one I use called Pocket Cast, there is. You can swipe through the episode. You can look at the, the show notes and there's a way to share. I would appreciate it if you do share the episode on social media to let people know about this very practical episode. And if you've heard enough to simply want to hire my team to do all this show notes stuff for you, we would be happy to consider your needs. Now, I have to warn you, we've got a pretty demanding load of clients and can be kind of picky with who we work with as a result. But if you're willing to talk, so are we. You can contact me at Carrie at podcastfasttrack.com. And thank you so much for taking the time to listen. This show is brought to you by Podcast Fast Track, where my team provides professional podcasting services without the time suck full production, editing, and show notes all in one monthly subscription package. You can find out more at podcastfasttrack.com. Now go out and make it a podcastificating day. Podcast